Should you play Zella Zone Zero? And to make a quick answer to that question, the answer is yes, you should at the very least give it a shot. And in this video, we are going to go over why, break it down just a bit. To give a little bit of context, I was invited to play the second CBT of the game, and I did play a little bit of it on a more casual basis. And so I have some insight on it, and I will be using that information to answer a couple of questions about the game. Now let's just go down to the very simple question. Is the game fun? I personally think it is. And there you go. I think the combat's really fine. It's really well made, very smooth. Uh, the character designs are obviously top tier, being a Hoyoverse game. And I think its only real downfall, if any, is kind of the story, personally. Now, I haven't done all the story that was available in the beta and maybe things changed, but the beginning, or at least the first two chapters of the game, didn't really pique my interest so much and mainly, and that's more of a personal thing more than anything. I mean, the screen time of some of the characters was obviously quite nice, but other than that, it wasn't like too crazy compared to the other gacha games I play, that being Genshin Impact and Weathering Waves. But things could change and I'm definitely going to give it a shot, especially since the two things that carry the game is the character designs and the combat. Now that was the quick way of telling you whether or not the game is good or not, but let's just but let's add a little bit more to that with a bit more information. If you do like gacha games but are tired of the open world of Genshin Impact and Weathering Waves, then you might want to give this game a shot because this game does not have an open world yet still maintains the quality of both of the games. I think the motion and movements definitely improve over Genshin Impact, at the very least. Now if you play Weathering Waves, love its combat style, but maybe find it a little bit too difficult, or maybe you just don't always want to have that level of difficulty, but still want to play a game very similar in, in combat style, but need like something a little, um, but maybe need a little bit of a break, then Zelda Zone Zero might be the game for you because it has pretty much the exact same combat style, fast pace, fast paced action, uh, perfect dodging and parrying systems included, but is comparatively easier than Weathering Waves, at least for as much as I've played. Um, Zelda Zone Zero definitely gets a little bit more difficult than where I was because I didn't really unlock any of the end game bosses or whatnot, but it, from what I could tell it was a lot easier to defeat the enemies than, say, than in Weathering Waves. The other reason why you should be giving it a shot is the aesthetics. I think it is very unique from Genshin Impact, Honkai Star Rail, and Weathering Waves because the setting is in a more modern um, type of setting with the extra features on top of it, which definitely gives it a different vibe than the rest of the, what I would call the AAA gotcha market. Another good thing about this game, and the developers have admitted to it, is that this game is designed and more intended to play on a more casual basis. That, and what they meant by that is that there's probably not going to be as much content as Genshin Impact and Weathering Waves with a bunch of little events to kind of fill up your time. This one is kind of just go in, do your thing, and once you're done, take a break, do other things, touch grass, play a different game, and then come back when you have other things to do. But with that being said, it is still a gacha game. There is still going to be your daily commissions that you would want to do for 15 minutes every single day if you so choose. That being said, you might not be so forced to do that. That being said, if you do want to invest more time into game, there's obviously going to be other features to do that, such as the mini games. And let's go into that, the arcade. And the arcade in CBT2 um, just had two mini games that you could play. They were pretty fun. And I do actually hope that they do end up adding more of that down the line. Now, the other reason why you should be giving this game a shot is because it's a Hoyoverse game. Now, I know now I know with Hoyoverse, its reputation is uh, flip-flopping here and there. If you only played Genshin Impact, you probably are pretty hateful towards the company. If you have either switched or just play Honkai Star Rail, you might actually still really like the company. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. And this game being a Hoyoverse company and its reputation being a little bit on thin ice to a certain degree, you kind of may be hesitant on that. That being said, one thing you can, one thing that I think we can all agree about Hoyoverse is that they do make good looking games and we can definitely see that by the character designs. Um, 
The feeling of the combat feels very smooth and very hype and very fun to play. I've also played the game in earlier access in LA during Anime Expo because that was it was accessible there and it, it was fun. It's it's the game is a lot of fun. I think people need to go into this game not expecting it to replace your main game. I think people need to go into this with the mindset of this being a side game, a casual game. To the fullest and that's really all there is to it uh, the game is fun just don't go in there thinking that it's gonna be like an MMO uh, um, level of content it is a gotcha game after all you do your thing do the main story dabble around a little bit if you so choose and then log out and do something else that's that's just the nature of it um, and with that being said that is very much very accessible for people that play gotcha games on mobile because if you're doing it while you're on transit to work or whatever you got 15 minutes or so maybe an hour depending on where you live that's enough time to just log in do your thing and then dip out before you head to work or after work with that being said i do plan on playing the game at launch and if you want to see me play it live make sure you subscribe to the channel and follow me on twitch and you may want to be doing that because that's how you qualify for my giveaways and i do one every 100 subs on youtube and every 100 follows on twitch and to celebrate the launch of zelda zone zero i will be doing one giveaway at launch so see you then and let me know in the comments down below if you are intending to play Zelda Zone Zero. That will be all for this video and until the next time, adieu and goodbye.